Hello, hello guys! This is Legend Armor TV coming through with a new episode of Everything You Need to Know About. And today we are going to talk about the last level 95 boss, which is called Rupakitus, a big, big fish in the battle called Distorted Truth. Let's roll to the stats, the gameplay, and see what it is all about. Let's go. So the attack cap for Rupakitus in the Distorted Truth is 30,000, which is 1,000 higher than Iron Fist than Arcana. Now, the amount of critical resistance that we will need to cap it is slightly higher than previous bosses. It's going to be 145, and the crit cap is, has also increased by up to 164. If we go to the quick battle, we'll see that um, the amount of power that we need to grow yet again uh, got boosted by yet another 1000, and the technique remains the same. 7%, as always, don't forget about that, to receive all the cores, all the loots, and make sure that you get something really, really great, like the Dead Scroll. Alright, let's get to the gameplay. Alright, it's Rupa time. We're in, and right off the bat, uh, Rupa tends to start the battle with um, uh, sending bubbles, like spitting bubbles towards you. So once the cutscene ends, start dodging. You will see it right in this video, right away. He does it, I don't know, maybe like 80% of the time, right here. So if you get caught by that bubble, you will be bubbled and you're going to... Um, start going up until you hit the ceiling and if your teammates are uh, not gonna rescue you with a secondary weapon that is available right over here with the spears uh, you're gonna crash down and uh, if you're unfortunate enough not to receive the life flare you're gonna die from the fault taking fault damage so rupakit is this big big fish watch out for this stampede he does uh, quite some hits right over there this particular pattern, uh, he does two hits, and after a short delay, uh, does like a barrel roll. So watch out for the barrel roll, it does uh, quite some damage, and uh, the amount of hits in the barrel roll uh, is multiple. He does that pattern quite, quite often, so watch out. Uh, also one of the things that he does, he would dive into the gold uh, and reappear after that. Crashing down, you can see it where he's going to crash by this uh, black shadow that he's about to uh, uh, emerge uh, out of and then crashes down. So you can take another hit right there. So watch out for these two. Uh, nothing nothing too, you know, too hard about this. Yet again, two hits and the barrel roll after that. Watch out for the uh, for the delay. Another stampede. I think he does like five hits there, um, with the with like a little slash at the end with the fifth hit. Yet another barrel roll. He, in my video, he spams it like big time. This, right over there. This pattern. He flashes red. Uh, what you can do? You can completely ignore the mechanic and what I am doing here, and just continuously uh, sandbag him right there. Just make sure you don't stand in front of him. Or you can start throwing spears in his face so he stops devouring the gold. So if he devours enough gold, his eyes are going to flash red. And um, I'm not quite sure what it does, but I think it increases his attack speed uh, and the damage and also gives, uh, unlocks one of the additional patterns that he can do multiple slams ending with a red attack. I'm not quite sure, I don't really want to lie here, uh, but uh, I don't really see big of a difference between uh, enraged Rupakitus and like normal Rupakitus, so... For the, uh, for the red attack, I would just suggest to continuously just send back him. It's pretty much free DPS right there. The anti-range that you just saw, uh, he spit the bubbles again. Uh, make sure you're dodging uh, these. Don't block them, just dodge away. Make sure you don't gonna get bubbled. Uh, 
Um, the dive again. Uh, the di when he does the dive right over here, this is a hit as well. As you can see, I counter drained it. So watch out. Then he emerges out, does the damage in, uh, upon the initial hit, and then crashes down. So uh, make sure you're blocking and dodging the uh, these attacks. Rupa is quite slow, so you don't really need to worry much about uh, being hit a lot. Just pay close attention to what he does. Okay, this pattern. This pattern is extremely dangerous right over here. <clears throat> so he goes into this little stance and then turns to a player that he targets and starts inhaling. So if you stand in front of his face uh, when he starts, when, when he will start inhaling, you're going to get dragged to his mouth. So what do you want to do? You want to make sure that you don't stay in front of him. Because if you do, uh, you're going to kneel before him, he's going to inhale you, uh, drag you towards himself. Uh, you're going to kneel, uh, lose control of your character, and after that he will eat you. He will eat you, he'll chew you, and then spit you out dead. So watch out for this particular pattern. Um, just make sure you are standing and dodging away to the sides, uh, you're still going to get uh, dragged to different directions, but not into his mouth, not towards him. So you're going to be safe. Another uh, uh, gold devouring uh, pattern, as I said, you can either continue uh, throwing spears at his face or just freely DPS him right there. It's, it's really up to you. Then he spams the barrel roll again. The barrel roll pattern keeps on doing that all the freaking time. I ran around, just fishing for some extra patterns, um, trying to figure out if he's going to do anything. Uh, he's been nerfed, just like uh, all the uh, previous bosses. So, at some point, I think it's either five or four bars. I might be... I'm not quite sure. He goes to the middle and prepares for a jump. So, what do you want to do? You want to make sure you don't stand close to him, because uh, when he leaps, he does the damage. You're going to get caught. And he flies away and starts swimming. The swimming phase starts. What the swimming phase is all about. You have to use your secondary spears that this battle provides you with. And hit him uh, with the spears two times. As you can see, there are two bubbles that represent how many hits a Rupakitus has to take uh, in order to uh, lure him out of the water. And these bubbles are going to emerge from, you know, th through the water tank. Uh, they're going to be following where you are currently standing. So keep on moving. Uh, watch out for these. And make sure you don't get caught by any of these bubbles. What happens if you get caught? First of all, if when you finish uh, spearing Rupakitus, he's going to be forced out of the water. He's going to take massive damage. And he's going to come back to the battle. What happens if you get caught in the bubble? Right over here. The bubble hits you, and uh, at this point, you can't do anything. You're caught, you're pretty much dead. But your teammates uh, can throw the spears at you and release you from this bubble. However, if you are halfway through, uh, you know, on your way up, it means you're probably going to take some fatal damage, uh, the full damage, uh, crashing down. So the faster they're going to release you, the more chances you're going to survive. However, if it happens to... Uh, you, you find yourself in a situation where um, your teammates can't help you, they can't they can hit the bubble, and you get to the ceiling, the bubble bursts and you start falling down. Press the directional keys to make sure that you have at least a little bit of control or where you are falling, like to the left or to the right or straight or back. And what do you want to do? You want to tilt your camera and look where Rupakitus is to make sure that you bounce off him. What does it give you? It drastically decreases your chances of being incapacitated upon the fall damage. So always try to make sure that you're landing on Rupakitus uh, after the after you being bubbled to make sure that you just don't die. It's a really nice trick uh, that allows you to stay uh, 
to stay alive for the rest of the battle. And this is it. He only does it once, um, the, the swimming phase. Uh, the bubbles won't come out. Uh, don't worry about it. You can also destroy the remaining bubbles that are covering uh, the arena to make sure that you don't accidentally, uh, you know, run into it. Uh, this is one of the patterns. I think I think this is the one that he spams. He starts spamming using it too uh, too often when uh, he devoured gold when he's uh, enraged. So he does the slams, three slams, and sends the shockwave. The, sh the blue shockwaves you can block and dodge through. The red shockwave you can't. So run away from that. And one of the final patterns that he does, uh, which happens to be uh, at the end of my video, uh, he does just the spraying water which is a, a a cone in a cone like in front of him so uh just dodge away from it just uh, stand uh to the side and keep on dpsing him until repocketus is dead another victory for us the mercenaries so well, this is pretty much it covering distorted truth a big fish called repocketus uh, in the next episode, in the next video, we are going to talk about the first level 100 raid of Astera, which is called Surprise Attack, where we're going to face off against a terrifying Inquisitor Claire. Thanks for watching. This was Legend Arma TV. I'll see you in the next video. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. I love you all. See you next time.